Hello everyone, uh, this is Al Fadi, and uh, I'd like to welcome you to our uh, apologetic series that we've been going through uh, and has to do with refuting the claim that the Quran has scientific miracles in it. Uh, I am so pleased uh, that uh, my dear brother Dr. Jay Smith uh, has been going through the series with me. We've refuted a number of those claims already and today we are going to talk about yet another one has to do with where does honey originate from when it comes to bee. And with that says, I'm going to turn to uh, Dr. Jay and ask him. Uh, Jay, you, you said that this topic of honey uh, was brought up to your attention during your debate online with Nadir Ahmed. How did that unfold? Yeah, this is fascinating. I, I didn't think that this would be a, a proof, but he was very clear that this is going to be a proof. So let's go back to chapter 16, which we have just been in the, the episode that preceded this, looking at the cow's milk, where it comes from. That was in chapter 16, verse 66. We're going to now go to two verses later in verse 68, and this is what it says in English. And your Lord inspired the bee, saying... Take your habitations in the mountains and in the trees and in what they erect. Now, he, he zeroed in on the bee here, and he says, take a look at that. The bee is feminine. How could, he have, how could Muhammad have known that the bee, the one who does all the work that goes into the mountains, is feminine? Because there's no way of looking at a bee today to know whether it's feminine or, ma uh, or masculine or whether it's male or female. The... Queen bee stays in the hive, and the, the drones, which are the males, are the ones that impregnate her. But right. the ones who do all the work in the bee community are always females. That's right. And yet this is female. That's right. Now, you're an Arab speaker. Nadia Ahmed is not an Arab speaker. I want you to, to read it now. Take it out and go up in the Quranic Gateway, and I want you to read it and see how they would uh, look at this word yeah. itself. So, so a very simple website is called Corpus Quran. You know, uh, people can go to it. And what I like about him, they take, they do uh, uh, grammatical diagrams uh, for basically bars in the, uh, the, 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 the words, basically, and, uh, and the uh, clauses and the phrases and everything else. And here, in that particular passage, which is 1668, uh, the word is the bee, a nahl in Arabic. Here's what he said. It's a noun. Obviously, we know that. Genitive masculine noun. Oh. Genitive masculine noun. Now, un unless Nadir Ahmed knows grammar and knows Arabic better than these guys who are scholars, then he definitely have shot himself in the foot. Now, remember, he's and that's a, a miracle by itself. He's a Pakistani shooting himself in the foot. Yeah. Now he is a Pakistani. His mother tongue would be Urdu. He lives in Florida. He speaks fluent English. I don't think he had any idea what this meant. He must have heard this from somewhere, but he got that wrong. So this is not a female bee. This is not a anything to do with female. It is masculine. But you have some information about that. Well, if it's a masculine, then that would suggest if... I'm just going to take put on his cap right now and go, take the same claim he made, but I know I'm not going to make this claim, but I'm going to say, let, let me just put his cap, the Nadir Ahmed's cap on and say, oh, so this means that... The masculine bee is the one that goes to the mountains and does and on the trees and what they erect. So, no, wait a minute. Now we know from the science that it's the female bee that does this. The so drones, we, all they do is set it home and they impregnate the, the queen. Well, you know, by the grace of God, we have just uncovered another error. Yeah, and I would suggest, no, this is not really an error because you have to have the masculine form for the plural when it's talking about anything. So this is probably what's going on there. Let me, I want to go down to the next verse because he brought up the next verse as right. well. And this is where many Muslims are bringing up, and I love this one. Now, verse 69, then eat of all fruits and follow the ways of your Lord made easy. There comes forth from their bellies. Well, actually, let's start that first part. Then eat of all fruits and follow the ways of the Lord made easy. Now, Nadia said, ah, see, this is another proof. They eat of the fruit. We know that bees eat of the fruit. Why? Because he went up on a National Geographic uh, from uh, 1989, and he saw pictures of bees on fruit, proving that the Quran is another miracle. That's right. And all of us almost, we, it was all that we could do to, uh, to keep ourselves from laughing on, on, on screen. Because what he had done is, uh, is to take a one image of a bee on a fruit to prove what he thought was a scientific proof that no one else knew. Now, let me ask you, do bees get their, uh, the, the female bees that go all over, where do they go to? Some may go to fruit, but where do the majority of bees go to? to get their nectar. 
That's what they're getting. They're getting nectar. That's right. They, they, they go to the flowers. Flowers. Yeah. They go to, well, that's why whenever you have huge yeah. flower gardens, there's bees galore everywhere. Exactly. And that's why whenever you have beehives, you go, you put them next to flower beds or you put them next to mm -hmm. parks. Uh, because it's from the nectar that they then take back to the yeah. hive. Exactly. Where then the to honey store. is made yeah. to from. So it's fascinating. He was trying to say this is a proof. I would say that this is an error. It's not a big error. Uh, because whoever wrote it was not really observant enough of bees. Very few go to fruit. Almost all the bees go to nectar in flowers. Well, now, let's then go to the second half of this verse, because here comes number three. And this is the one that I would say is a real error. There comes forth from their bellies, their abdomens, a drink of varying color wherein is healing for men, Verily, and this is indeed a sign for a people who think. So now even the Quran is saying, this is a sign for you. What? That the bees create this, this varying colored thing that heals you, which is honey. That's what we know. Honey has all kinds of properties. It's used for all kinds of medicinal reasons. It is used for all kinds of... Also, I love it because it sweetens my tea. It's used for many different purposes. But the honey is what we most know a bee for. Bees right. give us honey. Is the honey made in the abdomen? Uh, that's the question, right? Well, it's fascinating. Nadir Rahma tried to say, yes, I know this. Again, he went to an article that was written a number of years ago, and he found that there is a name for the abdomen of the bee called the honey chamber. It's called the honey chamber. Thinking, therefore, the honey must be made there. Without thinking through, no honey is made in any bee. Bees don't make honey in their abdomen. In fact, the nectar rarely even goes down. It stays in its uh, mysticulus, in this in its mouth, what we would call a mouth in ours. It's, right? it's almost like a straw, you know, that they... They keep it there, yeah. and that's what they take back to the hive. It's then put in the hive, and from, in the hive is where the honey is made. Not from any abdomen. In fact, what this is, what we see here, this is an error. This is a glaring error. I can understand why, because this came from Hippocrates. Hippocrates, uh, in the Greek philosopher that we talked about earlier, Hipp Hippocrates uh, was the one that also studied bees. He was famous for studying bees, and they just copied what Hippocrates said. Hippocrates got it wrong. So does the Quran get it wrong. So look, we've looked at three errors. Absolutely, yeah. We're supposed to be three proofs. This is, these are not female, this is not a female form of bee. It's actually a masculine form of bee. Right. And instead of being a proof for science, it's actually, I would say, a, a error of science because it's taking the masculine form of the bees that goes to the mountains. No, it's the female that do all the, the, all the flying around. They do all the work in the bee community. The drones pretty much don't do anything except impregnate the queen bee. Secondly, this idea that they eat fruit. No, they don't eat fruit. They go to flowers and get the, get the nectar out of flowers, and that's what they take back to their hives. And this idea that the honey itself comes from the abdomen, there's a, that's the most glaring error. So instead of three proofs that Nadir was trying to come up with, these are all three errors. Absolutely, and, and you know, it, it proves what we talked about earlier, you and I, is that there is this rule of thumb, everything is based on scene observation, basically. Uh, you know, Hippocrates probably uh, said to himself, well, I see the bees in the hive all the time and somehow honey is made, so it must be coming out of their bellies. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the logical conclusion, you know, if you don't know anything about... Observation, yeah. human observation, yeah. humans are, are fallible. In this case, so is Hippocrates. And the Quran is fallible. Uh, you know, we've talked over and over again how this is such a book written by men. This is just another proof. It's another book written by men, an error that men make error, the Quran makes error. That's right. And Hippocrates is a man who was attempting to explain things. I don't blame him for making mistakes. But you're telling me the God of Islam makes the same error? Like Hippocrates? The God of Islam does, obviously, because there is no God of Islam. The real yeah. God of Islam obviously is man-made, and so, therefore, it stands to reason this book is man-made. If it's man-made, you're going to find these errors. This is nothing more than what Absolutely. they observed, locally speaking. That observation got into the wrong text. Absolutely. Uh, well, into the right text. And so we, we, it's a great way of saying taking these proofs, they're nothing but errors, not proofs. Amen. And I like the fact that this was a three for one for free, and that's how we do it. Until we meet again, brother, have a blessed day. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Also, hit the bell so that you don't miss future videos. And please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com 
forward slash Sira International. And together, we can introduce Muslims to the gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you.